Hey everybody, it's Jason with JR Custom Designs Rotoboss Rotary Attachments. If you've been following us with the uh, trailer build, which we're currently in right now, we did a trip up to LBX in Illinois in late October. Getting back from that event, we put about 3,500 miles on the trailer. And if you've ever been to Illinois, you know the roads up there suck. So, <laughs> the, the Thunder Laser Bolt. Also the Aurora, to see kind of how they held up during the trip. Keep in mind these are RF tube lasers, so they're a lot more stable. There's less to worry about when you know hauling them or moving them. It's not like a glass tube where you gotta worry about it breaking or the water or whatever. So in theory, <laughs> we're gonna find out how well they held up. We're gonna go ahead and unpack this, take the strap off, open it up. We're gonna take a look around the whole laser and see kind of how things look, make sure there's nothing out of place. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and set up to do uh, a flat engraving. We're just gonna do some random random design, not changing any settings, putting a wrench on anything or, or anything like that. It's just gonna be straight unpack it, run it, see how it does, make sure the, the mirrors are still lined up, make sure the focus and everything is still good. Like I said, just basically find out how it, how it survived the trip. Because in reality, I would not attempt this with a glass tube laser just for the fact that uh, the glass tube lasers deal with the water and it breaking and you know things like that. Um, and plus being out here in the trailer, I use a dehumidifier. So it keeps the humidity around 40%. So that way you're preventing rust, condensation, things like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the straps off, open it up, take a look inside and see what we got. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take the straps off of this and take a look inside and see if we can see anything obvious that might be out of place, loose, damaged, whatever. And just kind of see how everything held up. And now let's take a look inside and see what we got. All right, so we got the, the laser cabinet open itself. Uh, taking a look at the laser, all the wiring, the harness, power supplies. Making sure everything's nice and solid, nothing's out of place. Take a look at your aperture back here. Make sure it's not moving out of place. Everything's good to go. Everything looks pretty good there. Take a look inside our cabinet and just kind of touching, shaking, seeing if there's anything that's noticeably like vibrated loose, looking for loose hardware. Nothing's in there. Everything looks pretty good. So I don't think there's any issues here. And take a look around the front. Again, just looking for loose loose hardware, making sure everything's nice and tight. No loose hardware. And again, everything looks pretty good from here. Um, bed, still nice and solid. Hasn't moved or loosened up. Um, and also the rotary kind of held up there too, which is good. <laughs> um, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we'll button this back up. We'll take out the rotary. We'll put the honeycomb bed in it and get it set up to do an engraving and see how everything turns out. All right, so now we've taken a look at the machine. Everything seems to be okay. So we can go ahead and set up to do an engraving with it and see how things held up. So let's go ahead and take out the rotary. We'll move the head back out of the way so we don't hit it. And reinstall our bed. Make sure it's lined up, sitting back in there flat. Next, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, place something in the bed. I'm just gonna grab a random design, we'll throw it in there, see how it does, and then uh, go from there. So I've got a design loaded up. We'll go ahead and do our autofocus. Get everything set up. And we'll go ahead and run this job, see how it does. To see how everything held up during the, the nearly, oh, 3,500 mile trip and again I wouldn't do this with a probably wouldn't do this with a glass tube just because of the water and everything else you got to deal with um, but on this with the RF tube makes it a lot better or a lot less likely something's gonna happen all right so now we'll go ahead and start see what happens Obviously, this ain't the best wood to be engraving on, but you're able to get the point. So far, everything looks good. Sorry for the bouncy footage. This is real time, real speed. 
again, nothing's been changed, nothing's been touched, nothing's been worked on. Everything is as is when we got back from uh, LBX. So I would say this is a pretty good, pretty good result. <laughs> Nothing like a little cross hatching. We'll go ahead and leave it and see how it does. You get to set back up here on the tripod, a little bit more stability. Normally, say cross hatching on a CO2 gantry would not really be something you'd normally do. Um, this seems to actually be handling it pretty well, even though there's no offset corrections for the y axis. That's, that's pretty dang good. <laughs> <laughs>